George, are you coming? George, did you forget about the heater? Mom, I'm going to fish. What am I gonna do with this heater? George, do you have warm socks so that your wheels don't get cold? And a warm blanket. I have, Mom. Let's hurry, or I will have to take everything with me. Ethan, where are you? I'm here. Hello, Grandpa Billy. Did you catch anything? What do you mean by anything? I always catch a lot of fish. Fine. We will drill a hole in the ice here. My father's favorite drill drowned. What a pity. I had no idea it couldn't swim. Oh, wow. It must be a big fish. Probably it's a shark. Or maybe... I caught a big fish drill. A uh, 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 so scary, a uh, 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 really wild fish. It's a horrible, a uh, 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 really scary, a uh, 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 really, really, really big fish. George, my wheels are so cold. Could you turn on the heater? The air temperature is 15 degrees. I will turn on the emergency heating. Wow, it's so hot today. <sighs> Yeah, I would love to swim today. George, turn it off quickly so the water of the river doesn't boil. But I can't turn it off. Oh, what? What? Did you catch a, catch a, catch a fish? I, I, I guess I've been sleeping all winter and now it's springtime. What? 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 Did, did you catch, catch a fish? The heater is on a cooling system now. Where is Grandpa Billy? Grandpa Billy, right there. Look, someone dug up an ancient locomotive mammoth. He has two tusks sticking out. <laughs> Today I caught a fish drill this big. And now I think I'll go back and see if I can catch something else. Fish drill? Wait, Grandpa Billy, I'm with you. This is what we call the excitement of a real fisherman. Watch out! George! What's wrong? Why did they dig this hole? It's not a hole. It's a sewer hatch. Let's close it. <coughs> Otherwise, someone may fall into it. You don't get it. I was just passing by and I remembered a proverb which says, Do not dig a hole for another. You will fall into it. So? How can you fall into a hole that you have dug? Nom nom nom. You have to remember where you've dug it. <laughs> Ethan! George! 
Mm-hmm. Why are you so sad? Mom, what does the proverb, do not mm-hmm. dig a hole for another, you will fall mm-hmm. into it? Mm-hmm. Well, it's in a figurative sense. Don't go too far. Daddy will be home soon. We're having dinner. Did you get it? No. I have to figure it out myself, as always. That's why you need science. What if it's a tiger? Hmm. The one you are digging the hole for, and he roars, Boy. And he falls into the hole. Bam, bam, bam! And how am I going to fall in it? But why? There is an angry tiger inside. Really angry. And he's really angry. Who would like to fall into that hole? Do not dig a hole for another. You will fall into it. Got it? And there is a tiger inside. Both of us won't fit in there. You can dig a bigger hole. That's right. We'll have an experiment. This will be my hole meant for you. And you should dig a hole for me. Should we dig too deep? It's for a tiger. Now let's wait. For what? I will fall into the hole that's meant for me, and you will fall into your hole. Well, I don't feel like I'm going to fall into this hole. Mm -hmm. (gasps) We didn't swap our holes. Mm. Mm. (sighs) (sighs) Maybe we did something wrong. Maybe that's a wrong proverb. No, proverbs are always correct. Well, Santa Claus doesn't exist either. The science denies his existence, but every year we get presents somehow. Darling, I'm back. Ethan? What's going on? It's almost a tiger. Where'd that come from? Oy, oy, oy. Ethan, get my bumper. Ethan, are you coming to play? No. (gasps) Dad lost some important details in the hole. I can't go out until I find them. That's what he said. And my parents took my computer for a whole week. And also, we did not get the meaning of the proverb. The proverb was correct. But we did not fall into our holes. What about me? Where am I? Yes, you are. But I am not. Where is your computer now? I don't know. That means you're in a hole. Well, in a figurative sense. (laughs) Vera, wake up! Happy Women's Day, my dear. We will have a spring cleaning day today. Dear girls, happy holiday. I bought tickets to the cinema today. We're going to watch Gone with the Train. Waiting for you at the cinema. Hooray, we're going to the cinema. Hmm, and what about the spring cleaning? Uh, Okay, oh man, let's take a break. Why don't we leave this cupboard? Your mother wants a new cupboard, and she's going to get a new cupboard. That may be so, but it was much closer to bring it to my room. I'll be right back. Hi, Ethan. What have you been doing? My dad and I are surprising my mom. We're bringing a new cupboard to her room. My dad has prepared a surprise for me, too. He bought cinema tickets. Hmm. But I think I'm not going. Why, though? We need to finish our cleaning today. We have to finish it all today. No, Vera. Go to the cinema. I will help my dad. And then I will help you. What do you think about that, huh? Ow! What, what? Hmm? Oh. Ah! Hooray, Mom! I know what to do. But first, I need to get out from under the cupboard. Where are you going, Ethan?
gun? Just some chore. Do you know how to clean? Well, theoretically, if I make a mess of the place before cleaning it up again, then yes, I can clean it up then. Follow me then. We need to save Vera. Oh, save her from what? From spring cleaning her whole house. <laughs> Huh. What's going on here? What are you doing here? I came to celebrate, and all I see is this mess. Like I'm in the wrong room or something. And no one's here. Huh. Sarah's at the cinema. And what you see here is the start of our spring cleaning. And you should start cleaning with us as well. Hmm? I mean, you should stay here and help us with the spring cleaning. We could really use the extra hand. I can do it. I will help you. Uh, I'll stay here and do the most difficult part. <gasps> I will write Vera the greeting card. Hmm. He was so charming and she was so beautiful. How they were at dusk and how he saved her. Their love was so inspiring, don't you think? Oh, Mom, don't forget there was a happy ending. It was a very good movie. And they're back home. <gasps> what is this? Uh. How did this... Oh, no, well, who did this, Vera? Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, Vera, oh. Thank you, Sam Sparky. Wait. Why did Vera only thank you, Sam Sparky? What did you write on the uh. greeting card, Sam Sparky? <laughs> You know, uh, I just remembered that I need to clean my house as well. My parents are waiting for me, and um, I gotta go. I'll be late. <gasps> hey, wait! Boys are so funny. Am I right, Mom? Stop! Do you hear me? Yes, you're right. Especially on Women's Day. <laughs> huh? Oh, Prince Charming. I missed oh. you so much. Oh. Oh. Fair princess, don't be, um, scared. I came to save you. Very good, very good. Now this is the time for the simpleton to enter. Here I am. But well, why should I play the part of the, the simpleton? Um, not the smartest one. Let Ethan be the simpleton and I want to be Prince Charming. Because I am the stage director, and I decide who will be Prince Charming and who will be the simpleton. Huh? A simpleton. Me, a simpleton. And so Prince Charming traveled in far lands. <sighs> Why can't I be Prince Charming like Ethan? So it says if you go right, you end up losing fuel. If you go left, you'll get to the car house. <laughs> Ugh, the weather is not bright and fair at all. Hey, what are you doing down there? This is my tree, Who you know. Are you, old man? Are you gathering leaves? Hey, hey, hey. I'm the Wizard of Rubber, you know. Are you Prince Charming? Are you by any chance? I've been waiting for you for a long time here. Yes, I have. Uh, me? Um, no, not at all. I'm the simpleton. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm late for school. Be good, old man. Uh, oh, uh, I barely made it alive. That was a dangerous treat. And the rain is over. Prince Charming. Oh, Prince Charming. Did you call for me? Oh, yes, I did. Uh, Are you Prince Charming? Uh, I, I could say so. Yeah. Hello, Prince Charming. I am your faithful bride, the Enchanted Frog. Huh? Wow, the Enchanted Frog. When are you going to transform back to the fair princess? Just after you kiss your faithful bride, my dear darling prince. Whoa, what? No, 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 thank you. Uh, I don't want to kiss you. Cheater! <laughs> wait! Come back, you cheater! Calling yourself a princess. I see being Prince Charming is not an easy task after all. 
It's pecking! It's pecking! The fish is pecking! Strike it! Strike it! I'm letting go! Oh. Oh. Hey, Prince Charming! Oh. And Prince where's Charming. the Phoenix Feather, huh? Huh? The... The whose feather? Oh, come on now, guys! He's kidding us, right? Uh, I was the first to see him! I'm the first to eat him, all right? Uh. Oh, Prince Charming, I missed you so much. I was crying and uh, crying no, and uh, crying. Uh, um. Listen, everybody, I have decided to let George play Prince Charming. Thanks, but no, thank you. I'd rather be a simpleton as planned. Ha! I'm inviting you to see a show of my new invention. The demonstration will take place tomorrow at 9.30 train city time on the old road. Sincerely yours, your friend G. Interesting, who is this mysterious G? Thank you, my friends, for accepting my humble invitation. Today is a memorable day that, uh, I guess straight away that G means George. You are a very good guesser, Arnold. Uh, I'm sorry, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, yes, of course. I invented an engine that works on rainwater and whistle energy. At the beginning, I thought that G stands for general. What an amazing conclusion, Arnold. General. Ugh. Okay, listen up. In order to operate the engine properly, you need to add rainwater and whistle. One good whistle is enough for a 10-minute operation. <laughs> then whistle again. Awesome. George, you're a genius. Oh, well, this occurred to me somehow during the daytime. Is it dangerous? You may rest assured it's absolutely safe. Mm, but you'd better hide on second thoughts, because rainwater together with a whistle is unpredictable. Shall we begin then? I installed the Whistle 1 engine on this trolley can right over here. Let's start the countdown on one, two... I'm hiding! You can start now. Three! <laughs> yay, yay! It works! And this was a quiet whistle. Now please take your seats and get ready. What now, George? I need to test the engine's power to carry packages, that's what. Why so slowly? Can we move faster? The trolley can is fresh and new. <clears throat> I mean, the engine is fresh and new. <sighs> yeah, so what? Mm. Don't even try. It obeys only to my whistles. Ha! 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 Interesting. <laughs> yeah! It's awesome! <gasps> oh no, it's too fast. I didn't count on this. Uh, stop it, please! They want to get off! I'm scared! I cannot stop it! You see, I only invented going forward. I haven't invented stopping it yet, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> minutes are over. We have reached the, the p -p 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 point of destination. That was scary. Oh, <laughs> boy. Why are we climbing so high? Can we take a ride on the trolley, Ken? 
Thank you, but no thank you. I've had enough for one day. <laughs> An extraordinary event is coming next month. A giant comet will fly in space between our train city and the moon. Wow, a comet! We must go and welcome it, guys. I think I have an idea. George, are you sure we have enough soap for a long flight? Our soap engine produces 1,000 bubbles a second at the least. The comet is at a distance of 150 million bubbles. What's your school math grade anyway? Start the main soap engine. out there. These countless stars. What is this lovely blue planet? Is it Earth? Yes. And there is our train city, guys. It's right over there. Oh, where in the world is Ethan? I'm here, hanging. Uh, I mean, hovering. Be very careful in a gravity-free state. <laughs> uh. oh. Attention, please. We're approaching the comet. Everybody, Attention, take please. your seats. We're landing We're on the approaching comet. The comet. Well, everybody, welcome to the comet. It doesn't seem welcoming at all. A cool place, if you ask me. It's really cool. Be careful, Ethan. Space winds may sweep you away. <sighs> oh, 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 oh! Whoa! Oh. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. Whoa! Oh. Whoa. Oh. 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 Will I ever stop tossing and turning today? I'm sick to my stomach. Wow, what a funny space dream I'm having. We are happy to welcome you to our comet, alien. Welcome to your comet? Is it real then? Wait, why do we look alike? Are we relatives? We always take a shape of an object we see for the first time. And this is the first time we see you. Awesome! We'll split into three groups and look for Ethan. I'll start by... <gasps> <gasps> hey, look, guys! I'm here! Didn't you mean we are here? Ethan, enough with your tricks! Comet aliens. Did you see them? Yeah, they took the shape of our tank wagon. <laughs> George, what did you give them as a souvenir? I gave them soap. They've never seen it before, ever. I'll hail soap. Ouch. Ouch. Go, Wendy! Go, Wendy! Oh. 
break anything? I'm fine. Well, soccer's not for sissies, you know. I'll go after her. Vera, wait for me. Do you want me to teach you how to play soccer? No, I really don't like ball games. There are many more games and sport activities. I'll show you. A springboard, the most simple and the biggest fun. Yeah, I'm the champion in springboard jumping. Watch me! Oh, oh no. Flying up and down is not for me. What else can you show me in sports? Who needs a skate? We have our own wheels. Vera, checkmate. No, chess just isn't for me. You may want to try a ball game after all. The practice begins now. Vera, you are a natural goalkeeper. <laughs> All right then, the game is on. Well, soccer's not for sissies, you know. We shall see about that. to become your friends. And now we've got an awesome goalkeeper! The summer is here. Any plans for the holidays? You know I am. Let's create our own TV program. Great idea, Vera. I want to be a broadcaster. Let me try. The weather tomorrow in the train city will be sunny and warm, with frost and ice spots here and there. <laughs> Am I any good? I will be a news reporter. Dear friends, this is a live report from... <laughs> I like to take photographs. I'll be a cameraman. We will shoot special coverages about the interesting events in the train city. And we will name our program the Train City News. Quiet, please. Good afternoon. You're watching the our uh, the Train City News. Uh, <clears throat> our reporter is online right now. Friends, today we are going to introduce you to a noble and notable train. Hello, Grandpa Billy. 
Could you please tell the audience about your... What are you doing here, you naughty kids? Get out of here! I'll wash you away with this! Ouch! No, we are from TV! Please forgive me, little guys. It was my bad. I'm happy when guests are coming. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your visit, kiddies. Thank you too, Grandpa Billy. Wendy? <laughs> oh man, well... Just you wait. I shall catch you now. Just wait a second. <laughs> we heard that some mysterious theft has taken place here. Indeed. Our dear musician has lost his priceless creative inspiration. It was here in the morning, and then I left for the grocery store, and when I came back, it was gone. Don't you worry. We brought a special sniffer trolley to the crime scene. Trolley can search. <gasps> what a disgrace. I've never seen this inspiration of yours. <laughs> Why are you giving me this suspicious look? Unfortunately, our time is up. Wendy, we're back to you. We have a special guest. Uh, could you introduce yourself? What for? Uh, we know each other. This is the right way. Hello, Wendy, then. My name is Arnold. Arnold, did you hear that? Is it time now? Can I read out my own poem? Here goes, the iron rails are shining bright, and Arnold's belly feels quite all right. What a great poem that was, Arnold. And now we have breaking news. The inspiration has been found. It fell behind the music books. Thank you, everyone, especially the trolleykin. <laughs> oh, how touching. And now, the Train City Weather Broadcast. The, the weather, weather in the train city, city is totally awesome! Hey friends, press to subscribe and watch the new episodes.